I'm on my way to a call where my customer's wine cellar is not working. It's a little refrigeration unit. I don't work on refrigeration units too often unless it's a wine cellar. But let's see what's going on over there. I mean, it could be anything. All right, so here I am. My customer told me they turned this off. Their wine cellar is not keeping temperature. Let's see what it's doing. It starts. Boom, I didn't see any refrigerant moving in the sight glass. So on off, could it be cycling low pressure? Turn it off. Get my meter ready. Get it on each of the probes. Zero volts. I like the switches open. Zero volts. It's not that. All right, I have voltage to it, right? Yep, voltage. I really shouldn't check voltage to copper, but yep, voltage. Okay, so not that. Turn it off. Phillips. Compressor. Let's turn it on. Oh, it's not dropping out. It's like the start capacitor is not really allowing the compressor to crank over it, lock rotors and out. So my start up here powers off. It's open. There we go. I don't work on these things too often. All right. Oh. Looks like it blew. The little white thing. Let me run on my truck. See what I got. What's it rated for? 375 to 455. All right. Let's see what I have to try to see. I can make something happen here. All right, so I really don't have much. I have a super boost, which could probably do it because I mean, the microfarads on this thing are the closest I have. So let's just see. Unfortunately, I mean, no potential relay, but I just want to see what happens. I'm gonna have to order a cap. I'll probably go with the potential relay at the same time. Okay, not sure what could be seen, what cannot be seen. I wish I had my head cam for this because it's up high. Let's just put that there for now. Try to get this a little closer up. All right, so now I got, let's see what happens when I start it. Oh, turn right on. All right, so I gotta get a capacitor. I'm gonna get a potential relay, just in case the potential relay is not dropping out fast enough, which caused the capacitor to end up blowing. So I hate to change the capacitor and then bam, I'm back again, not that much longer because it blew it again well until next time i gotta order this part i don't have it on my truck that's why i'm using this thing